Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD. Thanks for stopping by. I am recording this at beautiful Montesano State Park, atop whatever mountain this is in Alabama. I guess it's Montesano Mountain. I live here and I'm not really sure. So we're recording this out in the wild. My buddy, temporarily offline, Hi, everybody. is behind the camera. Uh, and Steve has loaned me the use of the QRZ1, which is this delightful little handheld. And there's a deal going on on QRZ.com. If you are a new tech and get your license, they will give you one of these for free. And this is for new techs only. So you generals and extras, too bad, so sad, no free radio for you. But if my wife was thinking about getting a tech, I would like light her on fire to get going on this. Um, so we're gonna do a quick frequency check on it and see what it looks like. I brought the spectrum analyzer up here because I always travel with a spectrum analyzer. In your back pocket. In my back pocket. So this is the QRZ1. This is a dual band, um, two meter, 70 centimeter Explorer QRZ1. I'm doing this on the iPhone, so I'm not sure how good this looks. And um, it's a nice size little handheld and the build on it feels really good. The menu um, looks like a fang menu basically maybe a little better text and it doesn't have that annoying uh, lady voice i did turn off the beeps on the menu there are three levels of power on this guy high medium and low i don't know what the power output is um do you know did you did you check the power output five watts, five watts on high it, it's five watts. Five, what it's rated at <clears throat> so i've got it set down to low and i've got the spectrum analyzer set here for uh 100 megahertz start 500 megahertz stop frequency running through our trusty cell wave dummy load slash um, RF tap and we're going to key this rascal up and see what she looks like and I'm going to go handheld here as you can see we've got the primary frequency and that's it so that's looking really good yeah I mean that's that's freaking perfect that's like Yesu level perfect or really ICOM level perfect don't Chuck, tell Chuck I said that <laughs> Um, so let's jump it up to UHF and see what it looks like on UHF. And the bugs out here, are, we're outside. I try not to be outside much. Right, I'm an indoor kind of guy. Um, so we are moved the radio to 446 and I'm going to change our start frequency to 400, 400 megahertz. And I'll change our stop to 1.5 gigahertz. Because what we're looking for is harmonics, which will be a multiple of our primary frequency. So when we're looking at VHF, the primary is 146. So 292 and 400 and something, something, something. And that covers our second and third harmonic. With UHF, obviously our second harmonic is at 892. So we're going to run the scope up all the way it goes, all the way that it goes. All right. And... Again, let me jump in here. As you can see, we have exactly one primary frequency, and that is it. So that looks really good. And since I've got the spectrum analyzer on an RF tap, let's jump our power up to high, which is 5 watts, and take a look at UHF again real quick. Same there, nothing. A big giant bowl of nothing, which is a good thing. So that's it guys, the Explorer QRZ1. I'm hoping to get this video posted tonight. Um, we'll see. Y'all, thanks, 73, have a great one.